Today, you are invited to a public memorial to remember the godmother of the Port of Baltimore, Helen Bentley. It's at Fort McHenry at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Yes, it's going to be really neat. In the meantime, there is an exhibit on display at the Baltimore Museum of Industry with several of her fashion pieces, and that's where we find our very own ABC 2's Megan Knight, who has a sneak peek of the exhibit for us. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Kristen Ashley. Yeah, you know, a lot of people, when they think of Helen Bentley, certainly the maritime industry comes to mind. She was a champion of the Port of Baltimore. Uh, she had a career in politics. She was also a journalist. Uh, if you were around the 50s and 60s, and remember, she had a very popular show. It was actually on ABC2 WMAR, a, um, a port that built a city and state. Very popular show there. She was a woman of many hats. She also happened to like to wear many hats. She had a very keen sense of fashion. That's what we're going to talk about here today. I'm joined now by Debbie Farthing, the guest curator here at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. You had the pleasure of looking through some of the garments that uh, Helen Bentley left to the uh, museum. So what were some of the takeaways of what you found when you looked through these clothes? Getting to work with the clothes, it was getting to see the details. It was the little nuances, the curve of a cuff, like in our red dress here, mm -hmm. the little finishing details. In a lot of her dresses, she had little straps sewn in at the shoulders to hold her slip and her bra straps so that they wouldn't fall down. So she was very put together. Everything was very appropriate. I know that she probably had an image that she needed to present and protect, she needed to be appropriate. And so it was just a real joy to discover these things about her clothing. Yeah. Do you feel like you got to know her in a, in a bit of a different way than how we all know her just by looking at some of the outfits that she wore? Absolutely, absolutely. I, I never had the pleasure of meeting her, mm -hmm. so I really only know her through her clothing and through her accomplishments, but really getting to see these and, and knowing that she very carefully picked what she wore. Mm -hmm. uh, many of the things are from local Baltimore stores. A lot of things came from Jeanette Beck. Um, a lot of her clothing was done by American designer Pauline Trigger, and a lot of the hats came right, off, right from uh, Jason of Charles Street. So she was always very focused on being local as much as she possibly could. That's what it seems to be. Um, I've heard uh, that she used to drive around town in her American-made station wagon with Buy USA on her license plate. Wow. Well, very good. Well, coming up in the next half hour, guys, we're actually going to show you some pictures that go along with these outfits. I, there is one from WMAR that we're going to show you. So that's coming up at 5.30. Uh, by the way, that public memorial that is happening today, it's at 2 o'clock at Fort McHenry in honor of the late Helen Bentley. Guys, back over to you. All right, looking forward to that. Thanks, Megan.